the young and the restless episode was a don't blink or you'll miss it moment, but it was also a moment that sent shivers down our spines with its intensity, and one that detailed the specific terror that Ashley might very well be about to experience again in the event that her memories of Paris come flooding back to her. The scenario in which Tucker, having left his meeting with Audra overseas, was wandering through Paris and had a chance encounter with none other than Dr. Allen, is the one that we're referring about, of course. It lasted for five seconds. McCall is familiar with the individual, having had multiple conversations with him in Geno City. He greeted him with a face that was a combination of astonishment and friendliness. However, what transpired after that was the most surprising part. Alan stared at Tucker with a glance that conveyed a hint of irritation, but he did not reciprocate his welcome and continued on his way. We couldn't help but wonder, wow, what exactly is going on with Alan? It didn't take us long to recognize that something was off in Denmark, or more accurately, Paris. After leaving Ashley's flat to go home and change, Alan would have been on his way back at that time, but would he have been able to dismiss Tucker in such a manner? When he was in Geno City, he was extremely polite to McCall, so why is he giving him the cold shoulder now? We got the impression that he would have still communicated, despite the fact that he might have been annoyed by the fact that Tucker had followed Ashley overseas. To a fault, the man has been quite nice. In addition, there was something about his physical look that did not sit well with me. The character known as Alan was dressed in a black leather jacket, which is the standard attire for villains or characters who have converted to the evil side in worldwide soap operas. On the other hand, there was more. The black leather jacket that Alan had been wearing was not present when he arrived back at Ashley's flat. Was he able to get rid of it in the hallway? As the day after the verdict is announced, supporters and opponents of Trump assemble outside of Trump Tower. Things took an even crazier turn when Ashley and Alan engaged in a more in-depth endeavor to access her memories from the time that the traumatic event is said to have taken place. Ashley recalled that she had a phone conversation with Alan and that they had made plans to meet on the night in question. However, Alan informed her in a straightforward manner that the meeting did not take place. Ashley was taken aback when she found out that he was in Florence at that time. He did not, in fact, inform her that he would meet up with her after his final session. If Tucker hadn't had that encounter earlier, we would have been left wondering whether Alan, whom we have been eyeing suspiciously for some time now, was gaslighting his friend and patient. If this hadn't happened, we would have been left wondering. It is only when you take it into consideration that a completely different scenario, one is extremely horrifying, presents itself, a doppelganger or an evil twin as also known as Alan. This would explain the weird experience that Tucker had, as well as Ashley's meeting with someone she thought was Alan, when in reality he was in another nation. A dreadful instinct tells us that it is also going to explain the great trauma that she has experienced. Did Ashley come under attack from Alan's demonic twin brother? Or even rape her if you must? Oh, how horrifying it is. Oh, our woeful beauty. Even worse is the fact that this is not the first time that Ashley has come into contact with identical brothers. Does anyone remember her late husband Blade, whose brother Rick, who was a bad boy twin, ended up providing her with sexual access. In a single lifetime, what are the chances that she will have to cope with two sets of twins, one set of boys and one set of girls? Not even on a soap.